Hello everybody, it's I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time, uh, we finally got through the asylum, and now we are fighting, uh, and we are now fighting, we're now fighting, uh, 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 Coach Oleander. Oh, alrighty. Let me, uh, let me get myself set up here, because there's something, because... We, you have to do a very specific setup uh, for this battle. Because you... So, so this boss battle, you have to break a bunch of these blocks. Uh, light that on fire. And then... Please. Oh, that did not count. Are they really going to have me try and light another one of these up? There we go. I, I guess, I guess, I guess the fencing here wasn't big enough. So that's the, that's the main gist of the boss, of the boss fight here. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those, uh, for Oleander actually picking up all those rocks. But anyway. Uh, only, now here's the thing. This boss fight isn't too bad, cause you only have to hit him three times. The annoying factor is, well, you know, trying to actually get in to be able to, to attack him. There we go. Easy fight. Just kind of, kind of finicky. It is kind of finicky. I will, I will admit that. Uh, let's try and let's try and collect uh, some health here. Man, look at all this toxic waste. Well then, there's only one thing we have to do. Are you sure going up to the tank is a good idea there, Raz? I told you, it was a bad idea! Super sneezing powder! Ugh. Try not to sneeze! Have to hold it in! And there goes our brain. Come on, say the line! There it is. Oh, this is just great. Now what am I going to do? Have to think. <laughs> like I got a choice. Now, nah, we're just a brain right now. Now, most of our abilities are actually locked. I'm going to re be re-equipping some stuff. We can do we can use uh wait, can we really Huh, I guess I guess it makes sense. We we can to we can totally turn invisible. Uh we can also totally use the shield. However, we have to use telekinesis. And and, and we're and we we are just going we're just going to uh face through the glass there cuz you know, logic totally makes sense. Anyway, where the fuck are we? You can call me Mori or Oli. 
Coach Oleander? What are you doing in my mind? How did you get in my happy meadow? Nobody's supposed to know about it. You didn't tell my dad about it, did you? <laughs> oh, uh oh. That's him! Oh no! Come on, little bunny! We'll, we'll be safe in here! So, anyway, welcome to the final level of the game. Uh, this what this level is quite the doozy, I tell you, quite the doozy. Yep, and that's and that's going to be happening a lot. Uh, be be prepared to get annoyed by that Rasputin. Welcome. Okay. The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No, no, little buddy, don't go in there. That's a bad place. That's a bad place for buddy. Uh, it's. I think only. I think little Ollie's not supposed to be uh getting stuck on that wall there. Well, let's just collect all these figments here. Rasputin, your journey has made you much wiser. So, do you still have? So, why do you still hoard hoard you hoard your goods like a miser? The items you've scavenged. Oh, let me move the mouse out of the way. The whips, the cards, and brains. Just to redeem them is all that remains. I think that's what this this bad boy right there is uh, saying. So, anyway, welcome to the Meat Circus. Uh, considerably, uh, well, the final level of this game, and also the hardest level of this game. And, categorically, everyone's least... And, categorically, everyone's least favorite, uh, level in this game. You might be wondering, why does everyone hate this level? Uh, you'll see in just a moment. Let me just... Let me just try and finish collecting uh, everything here. There we go. Oops. Got it. There we go. Uh, let's just let's just let's just return to, to this guy right here. God, I love that little buddy there. Anyways, let's talk to this guy real quick. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have enough cards to be able to get another rank up. But anyway, that that explains why uh, uh, there's a oh, bunch of bunnies. Kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Ah, help! So this is this is this is why this is why nobody likes this level. Uh, this part right here is an escort mission. And escort missions suck. Now this is now this is also one of the main reasons why getting uh now this is kind of one of the main reasons why uh getting the uh the upgraded side shot or side blast is really good. Now there's two ways you can get Oleander the bunny. You can either use the conf the easiest method is to use telekinesis to hold it up in the air and wait for uh, little Ollie to grab him, or use a confuse or use a confusion grenade. I'm not going to go for all the figments because we are now on we are now essentially on what what's considered borrowed time. Please. 
Thanks, Mr. Bun. Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny. Ah, here's hoping I can first try this, so I don't have to get frustrated. Cause this is where this is where things start to get frustrating. So you think that f those first two parts were bad enough? I completely, uh, I completely missed that right there. And this is why I hate this level because because Oleander can't uh, can't fight back. Hey, hey, it's a double fine uh, mascot right there. Ah, shit. Well, good thing that's right there. Alrighty, almost there. Oh, I forgot a. Oh, I really have to deal with this guy, huh? Now, now we have to wait for the cycle. But this is why this part is not. Is not really the best. There we go. God. All right, let's. There we go. Alrighty. I forget how many more times we have to do this, but ah. Now, now here's now. I wonder what the what's probably the most shittiest part of them all. Uh, if Oleander dies, uh, you have to start this whole thing from the very beginning. Now, my first time playing, it took forever. All right, we got okay. We got one on there, at the very least. Okay, whoo! God, look look at him getting beat up over there. Alrighty. I think he I think he also hurt him by accident as well. You stop boot stop running away. Alrighty, where the fuck are you moving to this time, Oleander? Ah, excellent, the exit. Alrighty, now we don't have to worry about uh, Oleander. So, uh, the fact that we got through this the first time, uh, definitely something I'm definitely, definitely proud of. Alright, now where the fuck are we supposed to go? Do I really just... Yeah, I just use levitating up here. Simple as that. Well, that was something. Also, these guys are still going to be throwing knives at you. So, uh, do be aware of that. Anyway, this guy right here. There we go. The big top. So here's Oleander. He he loved the bunnies, and then his dickhead dad shows up and uh, takes the bunny and murders it in cold blood. The the tunnel of love. <laughs> well then. Well, a person's right here. Uh, 
Oh great, there's more knife guys. Uh, let's see, can we can we actually shoot at these guys? Hold on. Nice try, nice try, pal. You missed. Woo! Yeah, be wary of these of those guys. They'll they'll be throw they'll be hurling shit at you. Okay, there's this there's this guy right here. Oh, I didn't realize we already grabbed right. We did in fact. Okay, but well, we got all that uh, done. Let's just go in here. Anyway. And here's and here's another really shitty part about this level. And I remember someone uh, uh, making a valid point in terms of the uh, motherfucker. <sighs> Someone made a point uh, to mention that the music feels like it's just mocking you. You don't want to go too fast. Because what if you... Uh... I think the first time through, I actually I was going so fast, I just completely s skipped that entire thing there. Anyways. And we got a, we got another rank, because we got all the emotional baggage. Now, the next boss fight is... Uh, coming up. And here we go. Help! You gotta help me protect the bunnies. Hey, hey, little Oli. It's okay. Those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No, it's not safe. He's coming. Who's coming? My dad. Your dad? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing. Nothing but food. Up, oh, forgive the devil. There he is. Don't run, or else daddy's gonna kill you. They're ready, so. So you may think this is the final boss, but oh, but trust me, this is only the beginning. So here's the thing here. I pressed the wrong button. Please, Mr. Bun. So every time he tries to attack you, use the shield. It'll def it'll, de it'll deflect the attack. So the trick here is you wanna you wanna wait until uh you wanna wait until he does does that so you can climb up him and smack him in the face other than that this boss fight is actually pretty simple all things considered uh, are you gonna attack or something mister Alright, I think this next one he's gonna do an overhead. Nope, not yet. Oh yeah, I forgot he can he can kick you.
Hey, hey, I didn't even get a chance to, uh, to shield there. Uh, one thing I should mention, getting hit by these guys hurts like a bitch. Come on, do the thing so I can actually hit you. You dick. There we go, God. All right. I don't know what I got hit by, but regardless... Can you do the move, please? Thank you. There we go. And out we go. And we're down here. Associating with psychics? Dad, I... Psychics. Fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water. Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin. And me. But I'm going to live. You know why? Because I'm still an acrobat. Let's see if you are. So here's the second part of this level. What's it going to be, son? Die in the water? Or show me what you got? And this guy is going to be juggling and going to be hurling shit at you. Also, water is going to be rising. So, uh, yeah, do be careful of that. Yeah, objective, don't drown. Please, for the love of God, don't drown. Uh, there we go. It's like, it's not a classic uh, 2000s game without a... Uh... There we go. We can just skip that trampoline, because we can just float right, right here. Now, now, right here, it's uh, it's really it it's better to just damage boost here because you don't because it doesn't hurt that much. Now, here's the part that always this is the part I I had trouble on with this uh, platforming section, and that's probably because my A press is just 
don't register sometimes. Not sure, but I'm not sure if it's a me problem or a uh, controller, uh, or like an actual legitimate controller problem. Now you think touching the fire will actually knock you off? No, you just you just get hurt. And right there, the A button just decided to not register. So right at the end too, go fucking figure. Well, actually, what? Actually, will he re? Will he? Oop. Will he react if I actually catch these? Uh, good to know. You can't catch him. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and concentrate here. And the A button did not press again, because of course it fucking doesn't. If I don't if I don't make it uh this next time, I'm gonna jump cut to when I actually do do make it because uh because I don't know, it feels like it's not gonna be very entertaining uh very entertaining uh have you watch me uh, attempt this over and over again. When, especially especially if my controller is just going to decide to uh, crap out on me for zero reason. Alrighty. Duh. I'm going to jump cut to when I make it past that damn uh, bridge part. So, I'll see you guys over there. Alrighty. Of course. As soon as I uh, jump cut... Uh, as soon as I do it after saying I'm going to jump cut, I fucking nail it. Ah, <sighs> bloody hell. Well, here's this part. So this part right here isn't that bad. Now, so the trick here, land right here, go invisible, and then just start, and, and then just start gradually making your way over. Make it over here, right as the invisibility runs out, and then you're pretty much golden. Now you just have to time your uh, jumps here. Unlike unlike what I did here. Now, fortunately, it takes you back over here, but but honestly, this right here is not too bad. Especially now, you might be wondering why am I turning invisible? Well, if you turn invisible. He won't be uh, throwing that bullshit at you. And honestly, my visibility lasts for so long. I can feasibly uh, make it over, make it over here without, without worrying about. Uh, Now, unfortunately, you can't turn invisible while right here. Now, ready to see some trippy shit? All you have to do is just hold down here. Yeah, I will. I will say, because because I've beaten the game before. Cheated. No, I use the acrobatics you taught me. Don't lie to me, cheater. You crystal ball readers always cheat. You're no son of mine. Uh, anyway. Anyway, as I was saying... Make that growl. 
I like how uh, little Oleander uh, nonchalantly uh, nonchalantly just mentions uh, that. Oh yeah, he's over there without without actually like you know uh, fearing for his life. So now you can't really climb up on him anymore. Instead, you instead you have to. You have to, you have to hit him with the, uh, with the clubs. Oh, that didn't count. Well, that I like to call horseshit on that. There we go. Fuck you. There we go. Ah, there we go. So, as I was saying, now, because I've beaten the game before, I know what to expect, so it wasn't it wasn't that much harder compared to the first time. It only took me a few tries. Also, here's our dad. Dad! What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you gotten yourself involved with, psychics? He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics. Is that real? Is that, Is that real? really how I look like in your mind? Man, do I hate psychics. And seeing my son happy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you. And to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic? If you're psychic too. Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. And then he's just gonna... He's just gonna casually sh sh uh, shoot him in, in that pit. Than that. Now, son, we have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this... Tangled state. The damage could be permanent. And this also happens. Unweave? Detangle? Never. I like it this way. I mean, look at how huge I am. And I think I can juggle now. <laughs> This is your mind, so you are the strong one, baby. But I'm about to give you my son. You must take care of it, because it's everything I've got. Oh yeah, time for a final showdown. Look, look at him carrying in fear already. Uh-oh. Also, these guys hit like a truck. So, here's the strategy. You turn invisible and just, and just run away. You have, you have, so you basically have to wait until your, uh, until your, until your big boy meter becomes full again. Yep, yeah. and I'm just gonna get a head start of uh, run, running away. And I'm also gonna grab uh, the shield. Bunny, bunny. 
And just like that, we just uh, turn invisible, run away. And just like that, that's the game, folks. That is the game. And then we're just gonna moonwalk our way out of this mine. Never mind, we're no longer moonwalking. We're just we're just escaping now. Whew! That wasn't as bad as like, as uh honestly, this is the best case scenario. Uh, uh, bunnies. No, no meat. Uh. No more. <laughs> that face. No more meat. Look. There you go. Good little bunny. <laughs> hey, thanks for helping me save the bunnies. And for talking to my dad. Uh no problem, little Oli. Bye-bye! Wave goodbye, Mr. Bun! <laughs> Where's he going? We're separating the brains now, Rasputin. He'll be fine. Let's go inside. Man, I can't wait to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! <laughs> oh, man. So, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in CAT scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely, extremely sorry, sorry I am for, for stealing, stealing all of your brains and, and trying, trying to take over the world. world. Mistakes have been made, but this camp is all about education. And I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. We're, we're finally getting the recognition. We endeavor to build strong minds here. With the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But it's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else long before he came here. But we can give him this to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be... A psychonaut. <gasps> and Dogen just faints just like that. And we get to see this lovely scene one last time. You can also steal you can also still see his helmet. And just like that. All thing, good things must come to an end. Okay, let's be perfectly clear about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um... Well, bye. <laughs> that go getter. Raz, Raz is out here getting bitches, uh, than, than me. Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. You saw me. <laughs> no, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad. Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey what, what are all you people doing in my kitchen? Huh? Ah, jeez. Now, now he's... We're taking the jet.
Anyway. Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going. Now, how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? Anti-kidnapping specialist. I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Let's go. I like how I like how Oleander's coming with us, despite the fact he, you know, tried to say, uh, tried to take over the world. But that, folks, was Psychonauts. You guys can see why this game was. You can guys, you guys can see why this game was pretty good. Honestly, I'm just gonna go over some stuff. I would say my top three most favorite my top three favorite levels in this game would be obviously obviously the Mugman Conspiracy. Everyone loves that level. I'm also a big fan of uh Waterloo World and uh, what was the last one? Uh what was the other one I really I really really liked? Uh, oh, Lungfishopolis. Because, you know, you get to be fucking Godzilla. Uh, in terms of my least favorite level? Probably... Probably the, uh... Probably Glorious Theater. Because... The cutscenes are annoying, the enemies are annoying, and the boss fight is really annoying. That is the boss fight I nearly, uh, nearly lost a life on. Uh, I would... Normally I would say Meat Circus... But, seeing Meat Circus is my least favorite is kind of a low blow, just because that, that's the one everyone hates. Be and, uh, and honestly, the only reason why is because it's just, it's really difficult. Then again, the first time I, first time I went through the level, I uh, didn't have that many ranks. I didn't collect a lot of the figments. So I didn't have longer invis invisibility and everything. <laughs> I, I, I like that big sensor. He's he's funny looking. Uh... Now, I really don't know what I'm planning to do next. Okay, actually, no, that's a lie. I do know what I... Uh, I do know what I have planned to do next. Uh, it's just that, like I said in the beginning of this let's play uh Richie Klonoa was supposed to be the next uh next game as uh, let's play 18 I think we're on 18 now right uh, where's uh, I'm just gonna take a look at my YouTube channel real quick don't mind me I I hate it when I leave off from a video and you and YouTube just plays it after I turn my phone on. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's play. Eighteen was supposed to be Klonoa, uh, and then the and then Klonoa's final level happened, and I was like, "Wow, this sucks." I am not recording the rest of this. So, so Psychonauts was originally was Psychonauts was always planned to happen. It was just supposed to happen at a much later point compared to. Uh, It was, it was, it was, it was supposed to happen much later than right now. But, uh, regardless, regardless, I think, it's safe, it's safe to say that Psycho, the original Psychonauts is probably, this game is probably, I would say it's definitely in my top five favorite games. This game just has a lot of character. And even with the low points with, like, Glorious Cedar, uh, the Meat Circus, I'm willing to look past that just because of the charming, uh, funny dialogue. But, uh, yeah, with that... Is there... Is there... I can't really skip the credits, can I? Well then, I guess I'm, I guess I'm stuck here waiting until the credits are gonna end.
There, there's Napoleon Bonaparte and Fred. Yeah. And uh, honestly, as much as I this, as much as I don't like Meat Circus, I will say I do enjoy. I do actually like the music there. Like for a final level, I think this is the best way. I think that's the. The, like, the Meat Circus music is definitely, it's really good. I, like, actually, like, I think Peter McConnell, I think that's the name of the composer for, the, uh, for this game. He did a really good job. He did, he did a really good job of this. And keep in mind, folks, this is Simplify's first game. Uh, this is the first game they start off with, and it was a commercial flop. So bad that it, that it end up putting the uh, the publisher for the the original release of this game the publisher actually went out of business so yeah and then double fine ended up getting the rights to be able to uh, self publish this game so they did so they put this game on steam and uh, and this is and this is where and this is why a lot of and this is why this game is a cult classic, because people started playing on Steam, and we're like, oh yeah, this game's really good. Uh, personally, I refuse to believe that this game flopped, because I'm going to say this much. Like, every, every like, re reviewing website when this game came out gave it, like, pretty good scores. So the fact that it flopped is blasphemous. Anyway... I've uh, run out of stuff to talk about, so rather than linger, so rather than linger on, let's see, oh, oh shit, you can actually buy the soundtrack from DoubleFine.com. Thanks, game. I did, I actually did not know that. Oh look, here's the entire crew of DoubleFine. Alrighty, there we go. Alrighty then. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this let's play. If you guys enjoyed the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button because I would really appreciate it. It'll help the channel grow. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, get get a bit of interaction in there so YouTube shitty algorithm can actually, you know, recommend, recommend my content to other people. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next in the next Let's Play. What it will be? Well, I sure as hell certain. I certainly know what it is, but I'm not going to reveal it in case there's any, in case if there are any last minute changes. Uh, until then, this is uh, Waluigi Big Mac, and out, and I hope you guys have a good day, afternoon, or night in the world. Ba-boo! <laughs>